This is Sam Jacobs, and you're listening to The Kojak. Walker needs to kick accurately, and he has. Oh, what a lift up. the excitement home. machine, McLeod. Left foot goal. Oh, no, tell me. He's a superstar. Don't tell me. Oh, bounces straight up. Leaves the path of on. Hello to all our faithful Project Patreons and welcome to episode 9 of The Obscure Crow. Uh, thank you, just a quick thank you to our sponsors, Trojan Aluminium and Pain Med SA. Um, thank you for supporting us on Patreon, get your friends on board if you can and rate us 5 stars on Apple Podcasts. So this is a show where we talk about uh, some of the ex pros players uh, who we've forgotten about, usually by choice, but um, <laughs> you know it's good to, good to bring back those memories. Um, so yeah, if you're um, struggling to talk about your Evan Tewitts and your Chris Laddams, then this Ooh. is the show for you. <laughs> that's a deep cut. <laughs> Evan Hewitt is oh. a deep cut. Yeah, oh. that's good. That's I'm not good. even sure I know who Evan Hewitt is. <laughs> no. Are you sure he's a Crows player? Yes, yeah. Okay. Distant relative of Leighton Hewitt. Oh, sure. Probably not. But... <laughs> <laughs> same last name. No, same one's, thing. no one's going to fact check that, surely. <laughs> no. <laughs> Say it with conviction and it's true. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be taking the reins on this one. Um, so I am going to go for another obscure uh, Ruckman question mark. Oh, not Brad Moran again. Not Brad Moran no. again. Brad Moran part two. We need it. No. <laughs> There's still so much to say. Um, Ruckman question mark yes. is a position that was created by the Adelaide <laughs> <laughs> Ruckman? Especially yeah. around the 2010 era. Yeah, when it was that's right. Yeah. And, is, yeah. and is it pronounced with that inflection, Layton? Ruckman? Yeah. 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 I, I suppose. <laughs> if you're over 190 centimetres, then you can probably ruck yeah. Andy Hutton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I am going to be talking about James Seller in this episode. Oh, yeah. mm. nice. Everyone nice excited? Is anyone know Great anything selection. fun mm. about James Seller? Uh, he was he was the highest of high hopes as a first round pick. I remember yes. that the, the day of the draft. Now I think it was pre TV drafting era, so I don't think they did it at friendly times. Oh, and right. I, I remember when. We picked James Seller, running out to tell my brother, we got Seller. <laughs> <laughs> and that was not ironic. It was, it was a genuine... Oh, my God. The guy, the guy had been cutting it up in the in the yeah. sample, playing as yeah. a 17-year-old. He looked at him, We were finally getting a key forward. Remember yes. we were coming out of that yeah. era of just... The club yeah. didn't have anyone who could yeah. kick a goal or take a mark. Yeah, I call that era the noughties. The noughties, yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. It was an exciting day. He was, yes. I, I do remember it well too, actually. He did, he slipped. He was touted to be about a top five pick mm-hmm. and no one wanted yeah. him. And he slipped and we got him and yeah, it was a very exciting day. Didn't Absolutely. he have something, he had a viral thing, or could he have glandular fever or something in his draft year? There was oh. something that caused him to slip, I think. I think he did glandular fever or some such. There was oh, some yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, One of the Mark Rusciuto 2006 final series disease. Yeah, it was Harvo. Yeah, he was bitten yeah. by a dog. <laughs> <laughs> should we introduce our two guests, by the way, Ellie? Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Really <laughs> I didn't go around the table. I'm so sorry. Um, this guy just started talking. That was yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Who is that guy? We've got two very special guests today i'm um, leighton and damon yeah. <laughs> yeah. and also enough. will goodings and sam tugwell are here too so. uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yes welcome welcome um so yeah they're behind the paywall this time so yeah they've been demoted <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> that's okay more exclusive audience that's yeah, okay that's it. it's like being bumped from free to air tv back down to foxtel on channel 507 <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it's your business model so if, if you drop off subscribers after this <laughs> <laughs> if you set it up. Um, um, so, yeah, back to the important stuff. Um, James Seller. Yeah, yeah. so as um, as Will said before, he um, was actually drafted as a key forward. Um, spoilers for later, but he played 44 games and kicked 14 goals. So <laughs> what a good great key forward he was. Over two years, that's um, pretty good. Mm. Oh, that was actually good. <laughs> for that for, was, that was for you and I, mate, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, so he, um, James Seller, he's now 31 years old, which seems really young. Mm. I, feel like, I feel like it was a long time ago that he was playing, but he could still be playing if he was good. But, um, uh, 196 centimetres, 94 kilos. So um, good size for a key forward. Yeah. Um, he was picked up in the 2006 draft at pick number 14. Um, yeah, as I said before, was was touted to be a top five pick, but slipped a bit. Um, that was the draft where Bryce Gibbs was the number one pick. Um, mm, yeah. Just a couple, just a couple of picks around him to just show what caliber he was at. Um, oh, this is never fun. <laughs> How much of a bargain um, we got? Well, 12, 12 and thirteen. So the two picks before him were um, Frawley and Jack Rewell. Oh Christ! <laughs> yeah. But but mm. some good news. Um, pick fifteen was Daniel O'Keefe, who never played a game for Sydney. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> no. Nailed it. Yeah, exactly. We did it. There you go. So. Can I can I throw a little tip out? Daniel O'Keefe and Reese O'Keefe are cousins of mine. Oh, yeah, one, the one that played for Sydney oh. and the one that played for Carlton, huh. they're uh, second cousins of mine. Trivia. Okay. What a yeah. flex. Okay. So, I think, I think <laughs> it'll be Carlton's in order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what it was 
Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. Next, <laughs> next family gathering, I'll have a word. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one of my worst draft takes now on reflection is all this year. This has all come together. I was genuinely concerned at the going into this this when the Crows had a first round pick needing a key forward. Yeah. That mm-hmm. Jack Rewalt was not big enough to play the key forward <laughs> wow. long term in the AFL. And I was Ooh. hoping we would get James Seller. Do you still double down wow. on that though? Do you watch that grand final and go, he's still not I haven't, I haven't quit him. I haven't quit James <laughs> Seller. <laughs> I mean, if he was just back. used right, we'd have a very different conversation. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be on the legendary Crow show. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so basically James Seller um, grew up being a very good athlete in general. He played in the international rules um, representing Australia and also represented Australia in volleyball. Um, so just an athlete growing up. Um, he, yeah, obviously got drafted in 2006 um, in a very uh, Neil Craig sort of move. Didn't <laughs> debut until 2008, around oh. seven. So <laughs> about a year and a half after he got drafted. Um, so was he, was he playing for Glenelg back then as well? Uh, yes, yes, uh, I think right. he played for the Nelk through the whole yeah. time when he it was, was the in. seconds back before mm. the yeah, SNFL yeah. side. Yeah, good mm-hmm. times. Those were the days. <laughs> um, in that game versus North Melbourne, um, he had an impressive uh, three disposals and kicked two behind. So, oh, yeah, that's impressive. Awesome. <laughs> Scoring shots. Yeah. He <laughs> yeah. had. Oh, I remember that we, we that was the season the Crows played the preseason game in Dubai. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I think oh, I'll could, never forget that. Could yeah. tip it, Dave Boot as well. I think. Yes, yeah, yes he did, and he go. looked instantly way better. Yeah, and it was sort of the first alarm bells. Like, well, hang on, this guy taking at twenty eight ish or whatever tip was taken at. Yeah significantly better than the bloke who'd been previously touted <laughs> as the top five. Yeah. 20, pick 28, <laughs> and we brought in from, what, Broad Beach in the Gold Coast yeah. or yeah. South Port or whatever. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. hype. No yeah. hype. Instantly better. better. Yeah. 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 Some yeah. morning signs The basketballer <laughs> looks better than the... <laughs> Look better than the Ruckman? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> um, yeah, so after that, so round 7, 2008, um, after that impressive display, um, didn't get another crack until round 14, 2009. What? So wow. Jesus, that's a long hiatus. <laughs> so a year and a half later, um, had yeah. another crack, and that was only due to um, injuries to both Moran and Griffin. So he had to wait, oh, <laughs> he had to wait for those was, two superstars to go miles. down. <laughs> before oh. he got another game. But the good news is um, he did string together 11 games in a row, um, including the finals that we played that year. Um, and he played, I think they gave up on him as a key forward because he didn't kick many more goals after that. <laughs> I think he only kicked about four goals while he was with three goals, sorry, in the whole 21 games he played for us. Um, they played him instead as a backup Ruckman to Marek, which is really strange because it's like he didn't do anything else. And mm. it, the the backup Ruckman thing just seems weird in the like the way that the game is played. These yeah, days, yeah, all he did was yeah. get maybe like ten hitouts a game. It's like Merrick could have just got the rest of these mm, hitouts, but yeah, yeah. Um, played another eleven games. Um, he, oh, the big key forward scored his first goal in the last round of two thousand and nine. So it took him. Oh, I remember three, that. Unbelievable. That was that Carlton years? game where we scored like one hundred and eighty-eight points or something. Yeah, and I think it was. everyone was kicking a goal, <laughs> <laughs> including James Seller. No, he was actually the only person in the team <laughs> to get the goal. Went, yeah, we got shit ready. <laughs> so, so it took the key forward three years to get one goal for us, oh, which is God, nice. That's damning. Um, 2011, which um, we all probably remember, the famous year that Neil Craig um, got ousted from the club. Um, and at the end of that year, um, James Seller went out the door as well. Um, along with uh, some other stars that were delisted at the same time as him, um, Mike Cook, Will Young, and James Craig. So probably future episodes <laughs> really, some of those names. Um, and, yeah, it's, it goes along with my theory that he may be um, Neil Craig's love child because he Neil Craig went to Melbourne, as we all know, as an assistant coach yes. um, after his departure from Adelaide. Um, where did James Seller end up the next year? <laughs> Glenelg. At Melbourne. Oh, at Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. So, so apparently, um, as the, the tales go, um, Neil Craig and also Todd Viney, who was at mm. Melbourne, um, really talked up James Seller. Not <laughs> sure why, considering they barely played him and yeah. when they did, didn't play that well. How does that but- conversation go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you want to say to the guy, why didn't you play? <laughs> oh, well, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Miriam was <laughs> very unlucky. Was Marriage, Tom. Griffin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had yeah. some star rugby We had the time. a Croatian, a basketball, or a bomb, <laughs> all ahead of him at the time. But I swear he can play footy. An equal opportunity oh, ruck sure. policy. Made it tough. Um, so that was so he got yeah delisted and then picked up again in the 2011 draft by Melbourne at pick number 54. Um, does anyone know who slipped um, below pick 54? You are staring that right year? at me right now. I've got no idea. Has anyone nah. got any idea? No. Someone that was 58 in that same draft and he's a Brownlow winner. Okay, oh, no way. 
Who? Lucky Neil. Oh, oh he's picked up fifty eight in that draft. So um yeah, so there's if you do um Google James Seller's name, which I might have done. <laughs> <practice>. <laughs> Um, he, there are some articles that come up about how Lockie Neal, they, they missed out on him, but to be fair, another 57 picks missed out on him <laughs> exactly. as well. So it's not yeah. really, you know, 18 clubs passed really... up on him twice. Yeah. 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 Right. So. so you can't really pin that one on. James Seller. So yeah, 58. Um, another fun fact, Cam Ellis Yeoman was 64 in that draft. Um, but if you look at who was picked before James Seller, there's some no names, one that played two, two games for Hawthorne and one that played two games for Melbourne. So there's not, there's not too much. What a terrible draft. I really want to go back through that draft now and just see <laughs> yeah. why I'm such a scrub. Yeah, no, it's really interesting. That could be a future Patreon actually. episode. <laughs> yeah. Redrafting the worst drafts. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, that is good. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, he started obviously playing with Melbourne in 2012. Um, the only good thing he did, which I actually remember because I was at the game and I don't know why, but it was a preseason game that he played um, against Port and it was in Renmark. Um, and he kicked five goals in this preseason game to beat to lead Melbourne to victory yeah, there you go. against Port. Um, that Just was the only real thing Turning it on for the locals did. in Renmark. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I was telling people that day, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Finally yeah. came around. From 2006. Well, I will not quit you, James Seller. And, <laughs> and the Melbourne Demons, that's the environment where every young man will flourish. You <laughs> wait and see. <laughs> <It's Yeah. laughs> um, so he went on to play 23 games for Melbourne, kicking 11 goals, which is more than he did for us. So I think they started playing him as more of a key forward. I think they moved him down back for a bit as well, um, but obviously didn't really set the world on fire and he was delisted again in 2013, two years later. Um, so we we're going through this ep- each episode, whether he was delisted or he quit. Yeah. So he was delisted, he was delisted twice. twice. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which is a real, yeah. It's a he bit kept of a bummer, trying, isn't it? <laughs> he did. Yeah. Um, never got drafted again. So um, went on to play um, the Waffle for a bit um, and co- also coached the women's team over there. There um, you go, yeah. And then came back to the Bays for a few years where I think he was co-captain or vice-captain. What do you do there? Years, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carry drinks. Good as mine. Um, and I've uh, and de- delving deeper into the life of James Seller, I, I found his LinkedIn. <laughs> which, oh wow! Oh. Which tells us he was the business development manager at Adelaide United in 2015. So oh, that's, yeah. that's ah, something. Okay. He's done something. It's probably go. one of his biggest achievements. Field. Yeah. 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 Um, and he now is the commercial operations manager at Morfittville Racecourse. Good on him. Okay. Yeah, he's doing stuff. I think doing we picked stuff. him up for the wrong gig. We should have <laughs> taken him in the. Well, <laughs> The business operations draft. <laughs> yes. Well, this is like the Brett Moran episode. <laughs> exactly. We were drafting great businessmen. Yeah. 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 I yeah. actually yeah. want to hear more about his career after yeah, 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 yeah. his footy career. Oh, oh, yeah. And he also, another big um, accomplishment for him, he won the best and fairest as a player slash coach at Langhorne Creek Football Club last year. Bloody hell. That's that sounds like good on him. That's, going. Yeah. That's it. Pies at halftime. <laughs> That's it. Beers before the game. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that pretty much sums up James Seller. That's probably more than I needed to say, really. I mean, but- I'm amazed you didn't go into more detail into that preseason game in Dubai when, when everyone <laughs> yeah. at home was just losing their mind. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, playing on a croquet pitch yeah. <laughs> that they, they'd marked out. Yeah. One of my favourite images of that is just they, they zoom out to the crowd and they show mm. like these concrete terraces and it's in the middle of the day. Like it must have been baking hot. Yeah. And there's like four dudes sitting in a row all wearing Saudi robes Watching, and they had no idea what they were watching. Yeah. You just, you just tell what the looks but on their faces. Up. But they, they turned, turned up, up and God yeah. bless them. You know, it was, it was like an old footy park crowd with just four dudes that just well, turned up. Like Westlake's right now. Dude. Exactly. <laughs> Dust Bowl. Dust Bowl. I'll never forget those sand, pictures though. Sand dunes everywhere. It was just remarkable though, wasn't it? Like yeah. I reckon it must have aired at about eight thirty, nine o'clock yep. at night here yeah. in Adelaide, and, and it was like bright. middle of the day, yep. beautiful sunshine, but forty degrees surely. Easy. Had such a bizarre scene for game for football. I mean, the best thing was when they zoomed out and showed the car park, and there was like car parking. Bikes, camels. You know, <laughs> <so nice. laughs> but Pete, that's Neil cool. Craig, we, I think we smashed Collingwood. Yeah, perfect. We're, that's all we do for Neil Craig is, is win preseason. Oh, he really <laughs> valued the preseason. The Wizard Cup. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Did everyone learn something? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. The man yeah. Mountain New underachieved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll miss you, James Seller. We'll miss you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Write yeah. them off a bit early. Yeah, like, um, any questions or comments? I feel like a teacher now. I feel like you, Damon. <laughs> we all learned something now. <laughs> Anything to add? No, I'm good. Yeah. yeah When's the good. quiz? Yeah. <laughs> That's next episode. That is probably okay. something we should start introducing for the Obscure Crow just to make sure we're all paying attention. Just a quick <laughs> yeah, five-part quiz. Yeah, flash- <laughs> yeah flashcards. Yeah, flashcards. <laughs>
<laughs> well, yeah, thank you for joining us for this um, di- uh, deep dive into James Seller. So thank you, Will. Pleasure. Thank you, Sam. Always good to be here. Thank you, Damon. Thank you. Thank you, Leighton. Thank you. It's the pause. I always forget your name. And um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Go Trump. Go Trump.